Well, folks, welcome to part two of our 2017 update of my EDC system. And particularly in this video, we're gonna do the off body or the stuff that's in my pack. Now, I have already done, and we just posted the same day, uh, the EDC system video of my on body, the stuff that's physically on my body, in my pockets, in my belt, that type of a thing. But I wanna share with you what's off body or in the bag that I carry with me every day when I walk out the front door. So we have a lot of updated items that I wanna walk through with you. And this bag goes with me, regardless if I'm going to the office, you know, and it's my Monday through Friday type of thing. If I'm going and running errands around town with my wife and my son, you know, if maybe I'm going on vacation, something like that, this bag and the contents in this bag are what I regularly have with me when I step out the front, do front door to go enjoy life. So let's go ahead, break it down, see what I got going on. And hopefully this update video will kind of point you in the right direction for your own EDC systems. Now, the bag Bag that we're looking at here, I took about a month contemplating and thinking about whether or not this was going to be the right bag to begin to carry in my EDC system and transitioning in my EDC system from a messenger bag format, which I've been doing for several years, to a backpack format. So it was not only just a mind shift for me in deciding to go with a backpack versus messenger bag, and I'm glad I did that transition, but also going to this particular bag. Why did I pick this bag and why did I spend $200 for this backpack? And guys, we will have links in the description below over to Amazon for all of these items so you don't have to worry about where do I pick these up where do I find this where do I find that uh, just use those hyperlinks below that's a great way to help support the channel help us continue to make videos just like the one you see here and you don't have to remember what did he say here boom just click the link bam it takes you over to Amazon and you can see all these products at great prices so real quick, we are going to have the full review on this coming very soon. We're going to talk about all the ins and outs. But in concept, why did I pick this bag? One, low profile. It doesn't have any molly webbing, pals webbing, anything like that that screams tactical, no camo colors, you know, tan, green, that type of a thing. So that was one of the first selling points for me. That's what I was looking for. I like low profile stuff. Next up, external water bottle pouches. I love to carry water bottles. I live in the Rocky Mountains where dehydration literally will happen if you step outside for like 10, 15 minutes. We're just so high up. The air is so dry. So I always have a water bottle stocked with me and I don't like having to go into my bag to have an unzipping pockets or something to get to it. I like it on the outside, really accessible. These have two. A detachable sternum strap was huge for me. I didn't want something that had tracks, so these sternum straps are just flapping all the time because, again, I'm going to be carrying this around town, maybe just slinging it over my shoulder, going from the office to my car, that type of a thing. I don't need this big, you know, cinch down, hours of trekking option, but I did want to have the option for sternum straps if I am taking this on vacation and maybe I'm, you know, going through the airport, but then when we get to our location, we're going to be doing a three mile hike that day. I wanted that option to be able to take on take off staged sternum straps, which, which was eliminated a ton of packs right out of the gate. And same with the stowaway uh, belt strap. I wanted a belt strap if possible, but that was either removable or stowaway. This is not only removable, but also stows underneath. And finally, just good organization that would hold all of my everyday carry essentials that I wanted to go with me, regardless if it was to the office or out for a day on the town or just running errands. And as we're about to walk through with this bag and what I have inside, you're going to see how good the organization is. So with that, let's go ahead and jump to it. The first thing I'm going to hit real quick is my water bottles. I love the shoot Camelback water bottles. You'll either see me with um, a see-through one, which I think was in our intro, or this one, which now they have vacuum uh, insulated versions. These things rock. The, we have done tests on these. This will hold ice for 24 hours, tested and approved here at the channel, and it'll hold my coffee at basically the temperature, I, whatever temperature I poured it in at, It'll keep that for about six to seven hours. So oftentimes it's actually so hot, I have to take the lid off and vent it when I get to my location. So I love having this. It eliminates the need for me to carry a water bottle and then a separate thermos uh, to the office, you know, Monday through Friday and that type of stuff. I can do a one-stop shop, start with coffee in the morning. As soon as I'm done with it, empty it out. And now it's going to keep my cool things cool throughout the rest of the day as I'm drinking water. So love these. Lots of capabilities, lots of options. Next up, and another reason why I love this bag so much, is my Outdoor Research Ferrasi hoodie. This thing is lightweight, water resistant, and will get the job done in a lot of scenarios. And here in the Rocky Mountains, we joke about if you don't like the weather on the front porch, go to the back porch. It'll be totally different by the time you get there. And so even on a warm, you know, 80 degree day, 
By afternoon, it could be having a downpour on us. Uh, in the wintertime, you know, it could be super sunny and warm, like 50 degrees, and then be snowing by late afternoon. So I love carrying this guy with me. And I you see that constantly in the, most of my videos. You'll see the tan version. That's the black version. Pals webbing. Again, we'll talk about that in the upcoming video of the bag itself. Underneath the water bottle pouch here, we have a few things in this stash pocket. I have some bum wipes. The worst thing in the world is to get stuck at, at um, you know, a stall and you run out of toilet paper. Or they forgot to load it up or, you know, it's that stuff that's like 10 ply. You got to like use 10 rolls before it'll do anything. So I always make sure to have some cottonelles with me. And then I carry my sternum strap that I took off in this pouch. So if I ever need to attach it, I can do it real quick. Then in the opposite pocket, similar scenario, but I tend to carry a few more items. I've got my Ted Tide pen because I'm always making a big hot mess. Uh, I've got my Sharpie. I've got to have one of those. I can't tell you how many times people are like, man, do, I, do we, does anyone have a Sharpie? And bam, I bust it out. I've got some duct tape on a used gift card. Huge and important to have that. Then I always make sure I have some sort of mid-weight multi-tool. I love the Skeletool CX. Plain edge, 154cm, I got pliers, I got bottle cap openers, got a knife, got screwdrivers, basically everything you need for around town. So I got that in there, and it's rather lightweight. A lot of multi-tools are so heavy. Got a right in the rain notepad, got to have something like that. Then I've got uh, my, not only DMT, I think is how, what was it? Yeah, I think it's DMT. Yeah, DMT. Um, uh, stone, diamond stone for sharpening credit card size. But then I have the ADD tactical uh, leather wallet that acts as a strop. So I can strop knives and sh tune them up. And then this carries my business cards, my uh, GT business cards right there. So um, there it is. And then my other job business cards as well. So, so I can tune up blades and it's usually my buddy's blades that I have to tune up. They, they come out, you know, they come in and they're like, Oh man, my knife's so dull. And then I'll, I'll tune it up for them. So, uh, then as we go along to this little pocket right here, always good to have a thumb drive with you pocket Farkle. We've talked about this in a lot of different videos. This is a dice game. Super fun to have on you. I can't tell you how many times we're waiting for a flight. We're, you know, killing time. You're in line maybe, you know, for a concert. I mean, just uh, the, the things are endless. You're just hanging out with friends, sitting around the coffee, bust this thing out. Super easy to learn. All the all the um, uh, rules are on the, the, the case. Bic lighter, got to have a Bic lighter. And then as a backup, if I have to do a lot of breakdown, you know, box cutting and things like that, I have a Gerber box cutter as well. This is always nice. It's like six bucks very lightweight and, you know, replaceable blades. So if I have a lot of work to do and I don't want to, you know, dull my pocket knife, I can bust that out and I can just take down a lot of boxes. Then we have this upper pocket right here, gum, got a key keeper. I've got an emergency whistle, extra house key in case I lock myself out, a stylus and a spare pen, hand sanitizer, spare razor blades. I just haven't put those, um, some of these are the like gold. Yeah. Lex or, Lennox gold. These will last like five times as long. Uh, let's see here. Got some, these are like floss kind of toothpicks. Got to always have something like that. Some um, water tablets, purifiers, iodine purifier tablets. So in case I do get stuck somewhere and I've got, got to have water, you know, power goes out, something like that. I have a couple bottles full that I can get by before I would have to start worrying about boiling water or something like that. Got some Altoids and then got my, there's another one of those and then I uh, got my Bluetooth. As we open the main compartment, we are coming in hot with my iPad Air 2. Finally upgraded this bad boy. A uh, great way to get uh, Apple devices is if you go to Apple's website, this is the only way that you're going to get this, but you can get refurbed Apple products at a considerable discount with a one year warranty, no questions asked, short of you like throwing across the parking lot. So I got this Air 2, it's a 64 gig. Now granted it's gold, so I wasn't super stoked about that, but it was like 390 bucks versus if I went to Amazon, it was gonna be like for the exact same model, I think it was gonna be like 500 or something. So I saved over $100 and the brand new ones don't have that one year, no questions asked warranty. These do. So I've been digging that a lot. And this is this has a Zag case. This is a hard slim case. This thing is awesome. By the way, this is about 50 bucks. Um, you know, you can take this apart. Now I have this hard case that'll do some protection for me, do all that kind of stuff. And then I have a great Bluetooth keyboard. I can rock it like this. 
open it up, type. I can turn it around. These are hold, held on by magnets. I can do kind of like, you know, watch t videos and movies and stuff. I can do it this way and close it like that. And then, you know, I mean, it, it is phenomenal. I love it. I love it, love it. About 50 bucks for these guys. A couple different colors for those Zag. Again, links below for all this stuff. But uh, totally digging that. That is where I do majority of my work. Uh, my boss actually just came to me and was like, hey, do you need a laptop? And I said, not really. I'm good, man. Just uh, let me keep using my iPad. So um, totally digging that. Headphones. Now, I do a lot of work at like coffee shops, you know, open areas. We're going to more of an open area format with the office. And so I put on headphones a lot and I was doing earbuds for a long time, but they're just digging in my ears, just have never really dug them. I bought these for editing a while ago. Love them for when I, you know, make these videos for you guys. But uh, these are like 20 bucks, I think, 25 bucks. They are can design, you know, they collapse up that came with this case instruction manual. These things kick out. Um, you know, they don't have like mind blowing bass or anything. I mean, you know, they're not bows or something, but for the money, they're very, they very noise counseling. Um, and the, the plug completely detaches, you know, so you're not going to damage anything. And it even comes with a phone mic. So if someone calls you while you're working, you can just hit this and talk to them. You don't have to, you know, grab your phone and take it out, you know, that type of stuff. Very cool setup. And again, with the hard case. So I use this not only for editing, but now I've just started with the backpack format. I couldn't do this when I was doing the messenger bag in the past, but now that I have a little bit more space, I can do this. And this is, this has helped just me focus more, you know, get, get more work done in a quicker way. Going right along, have slimmed down my Bible. You guys recommended I do that. Still NASB, my favorite translation. Um, but uh, now I've got that um, slimmed down. But always got to make sure I have that on me. Use that daily. Man cannot live on bread alone. Then finally down here, and uh, you guys are seeing these Velcro attachments here with this uh, Vertex backpack, a lot of the interior walls are hook and loop Velcro. So I have the recently reviewed Black Hawk medical kit. And I talked about the fact that I could tear it off of my battle belt, then put it in my EDC kit. Then when I go out for a day at the range, I can put it back on my battle belt. So I have that in here fully stocked. Now I have a full trauma kit. You know, if there was a, you know, God forbid, like an active sh shooter situation or something, I could either tend to myself or definitely tend to certain situations as well as just boo-boos and different things headaches and all that type of jazz as well up here we got lots of different organization if you watch my other vertex video i had a lot of problems with their satchel and how it had this horizontal pouches things are falling out constantly never have anything falling out of this design i, I don't know if they tweaked it if it's just different because it's a backpack but it works great i got some power cables in here then this is kind of uh and i forgot because i had to pull these out for something and i just didn't have time to put them back in my medical kit but uh, this would be my power station bag if you will everything that's like power based for the most part so i've got my headlamp my olight headlamp you guys have seen that multiple times very important to have but very important to have a headlamp versus hands free you know that's really really key to me um you know i always have that backup flashlight but uh, it's always good to have a headlamp as well i've got my anchor you know micro charger this will give me two charges or like a charge and a half on that full-size ipad and then it'll give me two charges on my phone then i do have still those earbuds i probably just need to dump this right now i'm just going to dump that right in front of you guys not not going back in there then another thumb drive this is just red tape so i can indicate and then a power plug if i need to do power plug uh if need be but um, those are the main supplies that i carry inside the bag at this point well folks i hope you've enjoyed this off body portion in the bag of my edc system update for 2017 hope it's pointed you in the right direction thank you so much for coming over here and again if you didn't see the on body edc check that out link in the description below as well so you can get the full idea and the full concept i just thought breaking it up into two videos would give a little bit uh, of a tighter frame of mind and make Make you and give you guys the opportunity to kind of break it up otherwise it'd be like a 25 minute video so uh, as always thank you so much for coming over here and checking out the channel please subscribe comment like share this video love to hear your guys thoughts uh, check us out on all the relevant social media as well we have links in the description below over there uh, to the instagram facebook always posting up every week there and that's another way to contact me and communicate with me if you have any questions and finally always remember stay equipped stay prepared we'll see you out there